I am extremely grateful for everything that has been taught to me and all the people that have been overwhelmingly uh, gracious to um, pave the way for females out there. It's, it's not the easiest industry to be in, but um, it's a great industry to be in as far as being a female. Not that that's a challenge, but it's a great opportunity. I enjoy it. Uh, I, I have established a great success rate and I enjoy meeting and working with all these people. Since 1996, the Global Automotive Aftermarket Symposium has filled the gap by boosting the education of young people who wish to enter the automotive aftermarket. Not only is the symposium an important educational summit for industry executives, the net proceeds of the event are reinvested in scholarships to support future aftermarket leaders. The symposium has helped open career doors for thousands of students in the U.S. and Canada. This represents over $1 million in aid, an amount that grows each year. Let's meet some more of the outstanding young people who've benefited from symposium scholarships. Tyson Harold received a scholarship in 2001, graduated from Cedarville University, and is now the sales manager for three jobber stores near Indianapolis that his father Greg owns. Tyson likes the industry's outlook. I see the future to be extremely bright for anyone that would enter the automotive aftermarket. Um, there's a lot of changes happening and a lot of things going on, but uh, overall I think it looks like a, a positive outlook and it's headed in the right direction. I feel like having the scholarship from the GASS and the additional bonus afterwards really helped invest not only in my future, but also in the, the training that goes into to, to what I've become so far. When I was 12 years old, I bought my first car off my dad's friend for $50. It didn't run, so I tinkered with it and got it going. And ever since then, I've been interested in cars. Anthony Vasquez's GAAS scholarship helped turn his interest in cars into a career as an automotive technician. The greatest challenge for me was get someone to hire me with no experience when I was very first started. But as soon as someone gave me a chance, they shined. Chance Conger is another young technician who received a symposium scholarship. He literally grew up working in his father Kyle's repair shop. My dad started this business a long time ago, so I've kind of been around it my whole life. I used to come down here and help out with <laughs> mowing the lawn and things and taking carburetors apart when I was five years old. But then at about 15 or 16, I finally came and worked here. And it's fun, I like it. Well, as a parent and a, as a you know, employer, it's a, a, it's a big advantage, you know, to help pay for some of the schooling classes to improve, you know, his knowledge and, and to work closer with the new electronics and learning the new stuff. To encourage students to pursue an industry career, a matching bonus grant is available to scholarship recipients who later become technicians in the automotive aftermarket. Each year, the Symposium Scholarship Program helps hundreds of students who are preparing for a variety of industry careers. Brian Lesowitz, a Northwood University graduate, received a GAAS scholarship in 2004 and now works for an aftermarket warehouse distributor that sells GM accessories. The greatest success that I have in my job now is each day when I wake up, I know I'm going to learn something new. I'm not going to have the same day that I had a week ago, that I had a month ago, that I had a year ago. It's going to be different. There's going to be more opportunities to learn, more obstacles to overcome, and uh, more customers to make happy. <laughs> and uh, That to me is a great success. When you look at the names that's on that scholarship form and to know that they're supporting you uh, through your education and, and through your career, it, it means more than ever. And uh, I'm very thankful to have the GAS scholarship behind me and, and you know, supporting me in doing what I'm doing to know that I am a recipient of that scholarship. To be considered for a Global Symposium Scholarship, visit www.automotivescholarships.com.